Hey, this is Tyler from Podcast Now, and today I'm going to show you the best spirits in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD. Uh, we have three of the best right here Tyranto Rax, Aurora Lion, and Kiba Tiger. Uh, now, the reason that they're very good, mainly, um, mainly like um, these ones, especially, are really good because of their strength. Um, Tyrantorax is definitely somebody that you want on your party, especially towards the end of the game. Um, once you get towards the end of the game, and you know when, because there's only so many worlds. Um, I like Aurora Lion more than Kiba Tiger. Some people like Kiba Tiger more than Aurora Lion. I guess it just depends on you. I mean, Kiba Tiger looks cool, but I think Aurora Lion fights better. Uh, here's why they're one of the best. So, starting with Kiba Lion... So, Keep Lion grants you an XP boost once you unlock that. Dark Aurora and, or Aura, Dark Aura, and Dark Splicer, which is only for Riku, uh, which those are pretty good moves, but y you really you don't, you don't necessarily need them, um, but that's okay because you get all these HP boosts, attack boosts, and, you know, hastes and all that, which is important. In Dream Drop Distance. The next one up is Tyranto Rex. Uh, you get Rapid Descent, but you can find that in a chest. Um, you also get, again, more boosts, which is good. You get Firaga Burst, but I'm going to show you who gives you that way early on, which is powerful. Or It's a very powerful move. Takes up two slots. That's the only downside to it. It's good against um, certain bosses um, that aren't that are more like um, long distance, not close range bosses. Um, but I'll show you who you get to get that move really early on, and I'll show you the move too. Uh, you get once more. That's important. And again, like I said, you get boost and haste. Now Aurora Lion, you get. Leaf Bracer, which is important. Limit Storm, very good move. Kiraga, but you can also get that from Meow Wounce, the big Meow Wow. You want that uh, in your team. You get Sacrifice, good move. And then I believe this is, yep, Second Chance. So those are all very important. But you also, so here's the best one. So like I said, Tyranorax or Aurora Lion uh, and Kiba Tiger, but in my opinion, Meow Wounds is very, very, very good. I'll show you that. Uh, Eagle Lighter is the one who can get you Firaga Burst early on. I like Yogi Ram a lot because I feel like it attacks well. Uh, Kuma Panda, I really like. You could get that really early on. So I'll show you what your team should look like in the beginning of the game, even the middle of the game. Um, where is. Oh, I. R&R Seal, r, &R Seal, you're gonna want to create, which you can create pretty early on, and the reason is because it gives you Balloon Aga, or Balloon Ga. I'll show you it, and I'll show you why. Very good move. Um, Meow Wounce is the one. Oh, here, let me show you Kuma Panda, too. Look, Kuma Panda, because this is what, so you're gonna, at first, you're gonna have Meow Wow, which I named Meow Now for podcast now. You're gonna want Meow Wow and Kuma Panda as your two mains for a while. Then you're gonna be able to put Meow, because you're gonna like be able to create Meow Wounce. You're gonna want Meow Wounce and Kuma Panda. Forget the lion, because you can't get that for a while. So you're gonna have them. You wanna put them both on Sora and Riku. You don't wanna do the bat and the panda for Riku and you know, Meow Wounce and the panda for Sora. No, you don't want to do that wastes time. You want to have them both on the same person. That way that when you're... Because every time you drop, you change characters, but you don't want to change spirits. You want to keep building up the link points to unlock more boosts more quickly. That's, that's what's important. Uh, and you can even have almost the same moves on Sora and Riku. Uh, and it still works out just fine. So then what you're going to want to do... So it's gonna be Meow Wounds, Kuma Panda for a while. Once you can get Yogi Ram, you're gonna to want to use Yogi Ram. Put him where you have the panda. 
Okay, this is what I did and it worked out very, very well. As you can see, level 48, and they were 48. They're the highest I have because they were the best. I still think they're the best. Uh, I like the T-Rex because he does do a lot of damage, um, but in my opinion, the Yogi Ram just moves, a, it just attacks well, same as the, um, what I named Princess, uh, because it's my little princess. But it's, I mean, as you can see, look, let's, I'm gonna put it here. 56, 48, 37 magic, 70 magic. It all depends on what you feed it, but still, I mean, you could see big difference. So they're good, you want them. Um, now let me show you what I was gonna show you. And yeah, oh, uh, here we go. So, with Eagle Lighter, let me go here. Well, okay, we'll look at Meow Wounds. So the main the thing you're gonna wanna do first, you get Meow Wounds, you're gonna go all the way across. That's what you're gonna want, right away. As soon as you can, build up as many link points as you can. You know, you can go up and down, like, if, if that's like 30 and that's 30 or whatever, you can do that, but you really wanna get Kiraga. Meow Wounds is the first one that you're gonna be able to get Kiraga with. That's a very good party member. That's not gonna be like a weak link. It's not gonna be a, a useless party member. Meow Wounds is very, very good. Uh, so you're gonna wanna get Kiraga, you're gonna wanna get Second Chance, okay? But you're also, Thunder Dash, one of the best moves, in my opinion, in the game. Gets you out of sticky situations, because it can, st it, like you literally be, I'll show you. I'll just show you. It, it really, it not only bridges the gap, uh, but it really, it gets you out of situations, but also deals a lot of damage to whoever's in front of you. And you can see a lot of haste, so that's good. Now here is where you start for Eagle Eider. Now it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time, but you're gonna want to get all the way down here. If you want Faraga Burst, if you don't, forget it. Don't even get Eagle Eider. If you want Faraga Burst, which I'll show you, then that's how you do it. This is the first one. Um, it's kind of like a fast way to get that move instead of waiting till the end of the game. And now Kuma Panda, start here. Circle Raid, didn't use it. Aerial Slam, did use it, you want that. What's the Spine, never used, don't care. Combo Plus, important, and all this is good too. See, like he doesn't, cause this is just an early on one, as you can see, there's not a lot of stuff. Okay, but this one has more. Um, so you're gonna want, so your team, without Eagle Eider, is going to be, so get used to Meowjusty, or not, I kept saying Meow Wounds. Meowjusty and Kuma Panda is who you're going to want in your party. Um, and then, like I said, then what you're going to want to do, then what your party's going to look like is this, with them. And that's perfectly fine. Here's what the Yogi Ram looks like. Zuna never used. Treasure Magnet, that's good, not that important. A lot of boost, a lot of haste. Fire Windmill, I like that a lot. Fire, uh, Fire, uh, it doesn't matter. Basically, basically this and this is the most important on top of all the boosts. So that's what you're gonna want. Uh, so that's them. Let me change my party back. Taranto, or Lion, and oops. And that. Um, yeah. And then you, you can use others for, like, like this one, Thorn, I named him. Um, I liked him because, what's this? Dark Break. I only wanted him because of, uh, Zanetsuken. Hope I pronounced that right, Nomura. But really, that was the only reason I had it. Other than that, it's just boosts and nothing. Steep climb, you get in a chest. So none of it really matters. I just had it for a while. Indifferent, didn't really mean anything to me. Um, so now let me show you some of the moves. So here's Thunder Dash. As you can see, it did a lot of health on the Raid Dragon. Aerial Slam. Fire Windmill. Now here's Balloon Guy, which is very important to have. Because it deals quite a bit of damage. I know you couldn't see it there, but it does. That was weak. 
Okay, let's go over here and I'll show you. Is there anything else I want to show you? Like prison wind will oh Firaga Burst, I'll show you that. And I'll show you. We'll look at that move. We'll look at Firaga Burst. We'll look at Ice Barrage. These are all other good moves that you want. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Okay. So here is Shadow Breaker. I like that move a lot. Oh, God. Bozaga. A lot of damage. Uh, let's see Dark Splicer. I don't know that one. That was cool. Okay, here's so here is Fire Rocket Burst. So that is just a small glimpse of the best moves and the best spirits in the Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD uh, game that you can get in Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Check out our review of Kingdom Hearts uh, 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage. Um, check out our Terra is the Guardian video. Check out all 13 members of the Organization 13 that we're going to see in Jesus, that we're going to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, and we also have um, Kingdom Hearts 0.2's ending explained uh, video, where I show you how Kingdom Hearts, like the events of Kingdom Hearts 0.2 and um, Kingdom Hearts 1, how they line up. Uh, so check out those videos, and if you like this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Leave a like. Um, subscribe if you have not, and stay tuned for upcoming Kingdom Hearts videos, and thank you for watching.